Blessed day everyone. I am Norman De Vera, taking up Masters of Education, major in Educational Management. At this time, we'll talk about the 21st century educational technology, its importance and roles in the life of students. The world is changing and in order to prepare our children for this new generation, we need to change the way we educate them. The term 21st century has become the central part of education, thinking and planning for the future. Administrators and teachers are actively searching for ways to prepare students for the future and the educational system has become evolving faster than ever before. Educational technology includes all the teaching aids. That includes all the traditions in teaching methods. No technology, only chalk, board, in a boring lecture. There's no interaction, no enthusiasm, no participation. That's what makes a traditional teaching method. Okay. Good morning, boys. So today we're going to discuss all about verbs. Okay. So when we say verbs, it's all about okay, an action or a state of being words. Okay. So examples of verbs are when we say actions are let's say sleep, eat, jump, and Talk. Okay, so these are the examples of action words. Okay, uh, boys, will you please open your book on page 173 and let us read the, the poem entitled The Whole Duty of Man. Okay, may I call on Andre to read the whole poem? The whole duty of man. Meaningless, meaningless, says the teacher. Utterly meaningless. Everything is meaningless. The eye never has enough of seeing, or the ear is filled of hearing. What has been will be again. What has been will be again. There is nothing new under the sun. Here is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of men. So I have given you different types or kinds of operations to be answered. So please answer them. Okay, so who can give me uh, the meaning of a sentence? Okay, look. Sentence has a complete thought and idea. Apple. Okay, Ina. Joan is beautiful. Very good. A classroom no longer consists of four walls with a blackboard and a lecturer in front talking to students instead of interacting with them. Interactive whiteboards, tablet pieces, projectors, and a host of other tools allow teachers to present information in ways that prompt discussion and collaboration. Technology in one form or another has always been part of the teaching and learning environment that it is the part of the teacher's professional toolbox. In other words, it is among the resources that teachers use to help facilitate students' learning. But then, what's the rule of the technology in education? Learning technology has become essential to today's schools, worldwide governments, educational system, researchers, school leaders, teachers, 
and even parents consider technology to be a critical part of a child's education. Here are the different types of the 21st century educational technology. With the help of the internet connections, we can use cell phones, laptops, projectors, tablets, and even smart boards. The important role that technology plays in education gives teachers the opportunity to design meaningful learning experiences that embed technology. So what are the role of technology in the 21st century learning? Technology allows for 24-7 access to information. Number two, constant social interaction. Number three, easily created and shared digital content. It is important for the students to learn in global classroom, acknowledging that the classroom extends beyond the physical walls. Our students are more inclined to find information by accessing the internet through cell phones and computers or chatting with friends on a social networking sites. It is necessary to embrace this highly motivational interest and embed in our teachers. As our digital capacity expands and our training in technology use grows, teachers will begin to utilize technology to better meet the needs and the interests of students through technology application and instruction. Number four, enhancing goals of education. Education technology helps in finding out the right objectives. Everything in this universe is undergoing tremendous changes with a very fast speed. Educational technology helps in enhancing the right objectives in the light of the change circumstance and change environment. Number five, training to teachers. The change type of environment with the new curriculum and new materials is to be handled by the teachers. The use of the projector enables teachers to move more quickly through materials, avoiding students and their questions by cutting out distractions and anything that may slow down the information progress. Number six, development of curriculum. Keeping in view the objectives of education, which have been in new materials, is to be handled by the teachers. Right type of questions of developing right type of curriculum. Only a suitable curriculum will help in attainment of goals. Number seven, development of teaching learning materials. Teaching learning materials are also as important as anything else in the teaching learning process. They have to be accordance with the environment of the teachers. Only right type of materials will able to modify the behavior of the learner suitably making him a fit person for the society. The overhead projector used in the classroom could imply a sense of teacher control or authority even though the teachers themselves may say otherwise. Number eight, teaching learning strategies. A strategy plays an important role in the hands of the teachers in every teaching learning situation. Overhead projector also works as a great classroom management strategy to the teachers. Number nine, development of audiovisual aids. Audiovisual aids have always played an important role in the teaching learning process. Overhead projector slides, transparencies are displayed on the overhead projectors, a, ver a very useful tool found in most lecture and seminar rooms. The overhead projector pro projects and enlarges your slides onto a screen or wall without 
requiring the lights. Number 10. Helps in overall improvement. Educational technology helps in locating the problems in different areas of education. And number 11. Identification of need of the community. Education technology identifies the need of the community. It helps in providing equal education opportunities to backward people, disadvantage students, and deprived sections of the society. Educational technology aims at identifying the needs of the community from time to time. Then it tries to improve the community in every possible the late and former presidents of the United States once said, Tell me and I forget. Teach me and I remember. Involve me and I learn. Good day everyone.